Today we're going to be talking about how to deal with the grief and sorrow that comes from losing somebody that we love. Now Jacob, one of my viewers, reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to do a video on this topic because at that time his grandma was very sick. Now, unfortunately, Mildred has passed away and is no longer with us. And Jacob, I just want you to know that my prayers are with you and your family. Now, the last thing that I want to share is that I myself am not an expert on this topic. But when someone in need reaches out to us, especially in situations like these, I feel that we as Christians must answer the call. So I just ask that you guys may look at my heart in this topic and grant me grace when it comes to things that you may disagree with me when it comes to what I'm about to share with you in this video. All right, guys, I have two things that I feel that we must consider when we're dealing with a situation like this. Now, before I share what these two are, I want to share with you guys a story in the Bible that I feel will give us some perspective as to what we should be doing when it comes to these types of situations. Now, what we see in 2 Samuel is that David's son has come down with an illness because of David's sins and disobedience towards God. Now, when David sees that his child has come down with this sickness, what we see is that David chooses to lay down on the ground, he chooses not to eat, and he consistently is begging God to spare his son. Now, the elders of the house beg David to eat, but he chooses not to eat. And what we read is, is that on the seventh day, David's son actually dies. And what we see here is a reaction from the elders where they actually don't want to tell David what has happened because they are fearful of how he is going to react to this news because they've already seen how his behavior has been while his son has been alive. And what they fear is, is that he's going to take more drastic actions. Now, what we're told next is that David hears his elders whisper and he realizes that his son has passed away. Now what we read and what we see is that David decides to get up, he decides to wash himself, put on lotion, and he goes to the temple to worship God. Now the advisors are very confused at David's actions because they don't understand how when the son was alive and sick, he was mourning, but now that the son has passed away, he has now chosen to stop grieving and decides to go worship God. Now, this is what we read David's response is when they ask him this question. 2 Samuel 12, verse 22 and 23 say this. David replied, I fasted and wept while the child was alive. For I said, perhaps the Lord will be gracious to me and let the child live. But why should I fast when he is dead? Can I bring him back again? I will go to him one day, but he cannot return to me. There are two major takeaways that we can get from this story. The first one is, is that even though we understand that ultimately God's will is going to be done in this process, we can and should go to God when our loved ones are sick or are in need. We can go to him in prayer and ask him to heal our loved ones. And this is the example that we see from David in this instance. Now, the second takeaway is that we must be prepared for God's will to be done. It may very well be in God's will for our loved ones to be healed and recovered, but it could also be his will to not save our loved ones. And we must be prepared for this. What we see in David's case is that he was prepared for God's will to be done. And we see this in that when his son passes away, he stops mourning and he goes to the temple to worship God. Now, David's reaction sounds very crazy. And I just want you to know that David's example is just one example of grieving. And it's certainly not a prescription of how everybody should react. We must remember that every situation is different and also every person is different. Some of us will wrestle with the situation and what has happened, while others may be a bit more prepared for the worst outcome. 
But ultimately, regardless of how long it takes, those of us that trust in God must come to terms with God's will and eventually get to a place where we can worship him again. And that's what we see in David, because ultimately that is the hope that we have as Christians, that God causes everything to work together for the good of those that love him. All right, guys, this is all that I had for you guys today on this topic. I hope that this was helpful and I hope that this is helpful for any of you that are going through a similar process. Again, if you're a friend of this channel, and you want to see more, please share, like, and let me know in the comments anything that I missed or anything that has helped you in your grieving process. As always, guys, I just want to remind you that we must persevere.